Hey guys, it's Tricky Mods coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put XCX Menu 1.2 on your RGH JTAG. Now, this is my second attempt at this video because my first attempt at this, none of my recording, none of my voice recorded at all. It like was just bits and bits and bits. So hopefully this video turns out better. But anyways, you want to have a USB in your console. You're going to go over to settings and storage. If yours is not already formatted, it should. If yours is formatted, it should say USB storage device. If it does not, you want to hit Y, format, and then hit yes. Now this will delete everything off of your device. If you do not want to do that, or you have personal stuff or anything along that nature on that, you either want to move that to a different USB or use a different USB because, it, like I said, it will be deleted. Now I'm not going to redo this because I actually have stuff on this so I'm not going to but once you go ahead and do that and it's already formatted just go ahead and just plug it into your computer and I'll meet you over there alrighty now when you're over at the computer here it is it opened up see I have a whole bunch of stuff right there let's go ahead and close that out now you need to you need one program and one file now both of these will be in the download description it will be in the description with the download sorry about that but it will be in the description but once you get that you just want to go ahead and open up horizon open up the file click this click this and then just drag this right here now you'll know your USB is connected in there when it shows up right there now when you actually drag this in you see XCX menu 1.2 and all the zeros. And so we go ahead and save to device. And you will have a green little progress bar right here. Now you you don't have to worry about all these zeros cuz like I said you don't it's a modded console. So you don't need to worry about it. Then once this goes ahead and then finish downloading, you can just go ahead and click the OK button. That's going to pop up because it's going to say it's successfully downloaded. See? Hit OK. And then make sure that it is in your demos. XCX Minute Game Demo. Okay. Now once that says it's there, you go ahead and close out of this. And you can actually put the USB back in your console. Alright, back at the Xbox. Once your USB is plugged in, go ahead and go back over to System, Storage, then down in your, to your USB. It will be in your demos. Now, you can leave this on your USB, but if you use this USB for anything else and you take it out of the console, it will not work, obviously. So what I recommend is you hit A, then you just go ahead and move it to hard drive now I already have it on there so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it but you will not get this pop-up more than likely so it'll actually go ahead and just start transferring it will have a little bar just give it a minute and then once it says it's completed go ahead and go to your hard drive go to your demos and there it is now once that says it's in there, go ahead and go back, go to your games, and it should be right there, XCX Mini 1.2. Yours will not look like this because I have games installed already, but... Now the one thing you can do about this is you can actually change your skin. 
which is actually pretty cool. Just when you click on the one you want, just hit A on it, and apparently it's going to download. I'm assuming it's going to download. There he goes, right there. Different skin. Pretty awesome. But like I said, that's the only thing you should change. All the other settings that are right there, just don't change. Just don't change that. But anyways, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. It's free. And it helps me out big bunches. Well, anyways, love you guys. Stay safe. Bye.